We are so excited to announce our brand new Module 5, a metabolic and functional approach to nutrition and exercise to the Fellowship in Metabolic and Nutritional Medicine. This module focuses on the role of nutrition and exercise in metabolic medicine with an emphasis on guidelines, protocols, and clinical applications. Nutritional biochemistry, aging, metabolism, diet and nutritional supplements, weight gain, waste, weight loss, and maintenance, exercise and activity, nutrigenomics, proteinomics, and metabolomics in cancer risk are discussed. Today we have two of our chairpersons here to highlight the importance of this practice changing module. I would like to introduce Dr. Andrew Heyman as the Director of Medical Education for MMI's Integrative Medicine Fellowship Program. He is an internationally recognized expert in the field of integrative medicine. He is currently the Program Director of Integrative and Metabolic Medicine at the George Washington University and spent 16 years at the University of Michigan building one of the largest and most successful academic-based integrative medicine programs in the U.S. My next introduction is Dr. James Laval, who is a nationally recognized clinical pharmacist, author, board-certified clinical nutritionist, naturopathic doctorate, founder of Laval Metabolic Institute, an interdisciplinary medicine facility in Cincinnati where he has served thousands of patients by using his metabolic model for health. He also founded Integrative Health Resources 15 years ago, which is focused as a natural products industry consulting company. Dr. Laval has 27 years of experience integrating natural therapies into various medical and business models. Thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Heyman and Dr. Laval, I will let you take it from here. Well, thank you. Um, you know, this module was, uh, you know, it's a lot to condense into a weekend, but what we tried to do is create different aspects to the program that will really take uh, your ability to go back into practice on Monday and apply some things that maybe you didn't do uh, the week before. And so there's various components to this that are, that are really important. And I know, Andy, this is something that we had talked about that just the whole aspect of exercise and biomechanics is not addressed that much. Uh, when people are going through integrated medicine, basically everybody goes and learns about how to take vitamins and minerals and maybe a little bit of meditation. But when it comes to real movement, that's a you know it's kind of a weak spot, right? Yeah, I would agree. You know, I I've, I've often thought when you look at the training programs that are out there that what's conspicuous by absence is really solid training and nutrition and diet, but even more so exercise, exercise prescription, how do we move, how do you assess movement, how do you assess exercise capacity in your practice. Uh, it's really nowhere to be found, and yet it's one of the pillars of lifestyle. And exactly. so, you know, so we, we feel really strongly it needs to be part of our curriculum. It's a foundational concept, uh, and it really – uh, is important to us that learners walk away from this weekend having learned, you know, practical tools on how to, on uh, deploying exercise assessment and recommendations in your practice. Well, and that brings me to who we're going to have, which I just am so excited about the speaker lineup. I got to tell you, you, know, you got Joe Cleaver, who was the head of exercise prescription at the Cooper Clinic, which is arguably probably the most sophisticated exercise evaluation program. Uh, you know, in the country, certainly have a huge reputation. Um, Joe's uh, has done programs with the fellowship. Uh, he's very knowledgeable in exercise, and I think he's. And, and the thing about uh, what we're going to be doing with Joe is, it's going to be a lot of hands-on. So if you're coming, wear comfortable clothes. Not that we're going to be doing exercise, but you'll, you know, we're going to be doing a few assessments in the room, and, uh, and then we're going to follow up with Clayton Skaggs, and Clayton uh, is a doctor of chiropractic, but he, his patient list for biomechanics is the who's who list in professional sports. And Clayton, um, you know, works with the, the St. Louis Cardinals. He works with uh, some of the players at the Seattle Seahawks. He works with pro tennis, pro golf. He, he's really quite amazing. And what he's going to do is talk about the biomechanics and the issues that you can uncover that, you know, a lot of times, you know, Andy, as you well know, a lot of times we're giving people shots, doing PRP, we're doing Prolozone, 
And, and, and a lot of those problems could be biomechanical that are triggering inflammation. Sure, there could be a trauma or an injury, but in many cases, these are overuse issues or improper either posture or biomechanics. And Clayton is a world-recognized expert in this, and we'll be discussing this. And then we're going to bridge into uh, doc, uh, Dr. Robert Seek, and, and Robert is a uh, you know, long-time associate and friend. Robert's a PharmD who has a very, very, I'd say, avant-garde uh, pharmacy practice in Las Vegas, Nevada, where he treats everything from uh, professional boxers, uh, MMA fighters. Uh, he does cryotherapy for people for anti-aging, in addition to doing some very novel compounding concepts that help people um, who are trying to either, you know, lose weight, gain weight, just gain control of their metabolism. And, you know, I think right there, before we even get into, I mean, I don't want to, you know, just kind of hammer people with who we have, but that's a very strong start um, for what this, what this weekend will be for people. Uh, and then we go to this whole aspect of nutrition. And as you said, Andy, conspicuous by absence, there's not enough discussion of diet, like everybody wants to teach one diet, like if, as if there's one diet that works for everyone. And uh, Laura Laval, who's a registered dietitian, uh, vice president of nutrition for Metabolic Code Enterprises, uh, and, and has been a you know faculty at University of Cincinnati, now faculty at GW, uh, as an instructor, is going to go through uh, the you know various diets, what their strengths and weaknesses are, meaning. If you go on a ketogenic diet, hey, great, what do you apply it? You know, where, where does that make sense? But what are the, the pitfalls, too, so that we're not going to get tracked into, oh, everybody should just eat vegetables, right, because that's the obvious. It's looking at these shifts in macro and micronutrients and elimination diet and food allergens to really start to gain a solid understanding of what to do as it relates to, to uh, weight gain, weight loss, or just trying to kind of control a person that's got an autoimmune disorder. So, so I think that's going to be very exciting. And then we're going to have uh, Bob Sibahar. And Bob Sibahar is a dietitian for the U.S. Olympic team. And Bob is probably one of the most noted experts for endurance athlete nutrition. So we're going we're gonna spr to um, sprinkle a little bit of the the uh, sports nutrition and how to how to nutrient time uh, because a lot of the people coming into practice today, Andy, you well know this, right? Um, the athletes that you worked with at Corvette were also endurance athletes, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I I think that um, we we really have created a whole generation of people who gotten excited about uh, endurance uh, athletics. And uh, and while you know those can be great activities, um, it creates such a metabolic storm in these individuals that it really does set people up for all sorts of um, imbalances and injuries over time. I was really surprised at what we found when we started looking at the Corvette racing teams. These are elite athletes in their own right, and to stay in shape, especially to keep their weight down. They'd often engage in marathons or triathlons, um, those sorts of endurance events. And when we dug into their metabolism, each and every one of them had major issues that were just below the surface. And I think we all can appreciate that. We know people who've been uh, quite active throughout their lives, uh, especially semi-pro or pro athletes, and the minute they stop working out, it's uh, easy for them to gain weight. They tend to become aching and inflamed, and what's happening is uh, they were revealing that underlying disorder, and the only thing that was really holding them together was the persistent activity. Um, so even at the elite level, you know, these performers who look great and function well in their jobs, surface, they can often have major, major problems, and it's no different for them than sort of the weekend, weekend warrior. That's right. Yeah, and many times a weekend warrior, it's even tougher because they're working a 12-hour day, and then they're going to work out in order to participate in something that they're planning on doing. So many times, I find that the metabolic demand on the on the person that's you know working a day job 
um, it's even tougher on them because you know they're, they're, they're they've got a regular life they're living. Then they got to go and try and train as if they're a pro athlete, and and I see that all the time. But but I think what you come away with, uh, you know, with this weekend is how do I understand the needs of the individual for nutrition and exercise, and what tools can I apply in order to make uh, it easy for people to begin to adhere and comply because it, we all love people to start that. You know, eat right and exercise, right? Easy to say, one sentence. The reality is people, it takes time when you're modifying and adapting new behaviors, and we have to, we have to help them uh, get through that. Uh, so in addition to, uh, you know, Bob Sibahar, who is a real gem to listen to, uh, Dr. Seek, who is entertaining, very informative, as a very, uh, as I said, cutting edge, avant-garde practice, uh, that he works with physicians, um, and 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 then also having you know as I mentioned Joe Cleaver from you know formerly from Cooper Clinic, um, Dr. Heyman I know Andy you're going to go over I wanted you to go over uh, Corvette racing and what you found because I continue to find it fascinating the work we did on those Corvette race drivers I think even today I look back on it and go man that was a cool project and, I, and it's going to be great for you to share the insight and and uh, everything that went on there. Uh, and then what? And, and then uh, the nutrition component. I think it's important to understand. This is not just about how do you lose weight. This is about you know why does an endocrinologist want to know about it about, about nutrition, right? Because you know maybe you're trying to uh, control seizures, and that means you want to know about a ketogenic diet and what its strengths are, what its weaknesses are. And here's the biggest thing I find, and I, I when I talk to Laura, I, I really get amazed is that. There's so much confusing information about diet on the market. I mean, even even in the professional literature, when they say low carb, it can mean anything from truly low carb or very low carb to you know not really that low in carbs. When you read the actual study, so she's going to kind of make things um, painfully clear so that we can truly start to understand you know what you know diet, nutrition, and its effects. And then I'm going to follow up, uh, and Andy, I know you're going to do this with me, is that we're going to do case studies for three hours. But, you know, every day we're going to go over cases and have clinical application of what we learned that day. And then we're going to have hands-on. Both Dr. Skaggs and Dr. Cleaver will be doing hands-on, uh, you, know, uh, you know, teaching so that we'll have some real, I think, really engaging and interactive learning styles that will take place in this weekend. And then the other thing I'm going to talk about are the hidden keys to weight loss problems. And this really isn't just about weight loss. Andy, as, as you well know, uh, for years I've talked about the fact that you know weight loss, it, it, it was so easy, everybody would be thin, and it's not simply calories in and calories out. And uh, that, in fact, that was the theme of when we did the weight loss program for Lifetime Fitness. And you know, they're 1.2 million members. It, it, it's the fact that you know, stress causes a problem, sleep causes a problem, blood sugar disturbances, thyroid issues, environmental challenges, nutrient deficiencies. There's a, a host of things that are literally just kind of a check the list that allows you to almost cluster a person, whether they're looking for weight management, weight loss, or weight gain, to find out what their metabolic struggle is, where is the break in their in, and kind of their metabolic performance, and then then what are the strategies to fix those things? Some of the basic strategies, and we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, going through just a very succinct approach to evaluating uh, the situation, regardless of what the, the patient goal is, whether it is they want weight loss or if it's just they're trying to get to be a more vital and more active lifestyle. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty robust. I mean, Andy, what, what's your opinion of the crew that we we assembled? I think it's really high quality. Uh, you know, I think Jim, you've done a really good job at identifying um, really um, experts who are top in their particular class of what they do related to sort of exercise and fitness. Um, it's really a weekend people can't get anywhere else. I mean, when you look at what's out there and what's available for training in that regard. Um, there isn't anything uh, like this uh, being offered. And I think it's a really, really important part of a person's education and skill set. If we're supposed to be the lifestyle and wellness expert, I think it's important that we know how to deal with exercise. 
Yeah, and, and it's week and what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and nutrition. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, we talk about this all the time, and I, I think they're they're you know the foundations of health are sort of how we eat, how we move, how we breathe, how we sleep. And, you know, if we're honest with ourselves as practitioners, we're probably good at a lot of the other stuff, you know, which herb to get or to give a patient. But, you know, not so much on the foundational issues. They're hard to do. You know, it's a lot about behavior and coaching, and it's a specialized knowledge base. Um, But we've assembled an expert crew, and I think people will be delighted with um, their experience in this particular weekend. Exactly. And, and, uh, you know, the other – I think the – other thing that I'm going to do, which I know a lot of fellows have relied on for a lot of uh, years, is I will take a portion of time and just kind of go over what are the principal nutrients and uh, their application and their dosages and their standardizations and what's new and what's novel uh, during the course of the weekend so that they can kind of get a good foundation for, you know, what do I reach for on the shelf in order to help somebody when they have particular issues surrounding their exercise performance, their stamina, uh, how hard they're pushing their immune system because they are training for something. Uh, and and, and uh, I think that's going to be key too. So, you know, that that's really the weekend, guys. Uh, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, you're excited about the fact that just as Dr. Heyman said, you know, key things about integrative medicine and really getting people well is it's about movement, sleep, the, you know, eating the right foods, getting, you know, correct exercise, and then understanding the challenges with that from the biomechanics standpoint so that you're really pointing people in the right direction before they just go off and start, you know, trying to, you know, climb Mount Kilimanjaro, right? Um, so so that's, that's, uh, that, that's the essence of the weekend. So, um, you know, I, I encourage everybody to come. You know, we're excited about having you there, and I know you're going to learn uh, a lot of new information and insights that will help you in practice on Monday morning. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, really excited. Great. Thank you so much. Um, I do have two questions um, that have come in, um, doctors. One of them is, I understand the importance of nutrition and exercise for my patients, but I have not been successful in, in implementing a successful approach because I don't know where to start and how to monitor my patients. Will this module give me the tools that I need to be successful? I guess I could give a one, one, a short answer, yes, but I want to, I want to really uh, dig down on this just a little bit uh, for the person that uh, asked that question. It's first of all, you're going to learn exercise prescription, the use of heart rate monitors, the value of heart rate variability, uh, and then in addition to that, you're going to learn structural uh, mechanics assessment that will also help you to quickly deploy a strategy with the patient. And of course, you know, you're not going to learn everything in one weekend, but we're going to give you things that are going to help right away uh, on on day one. So without a doubt, you're going to learn how to uh, apply and create an exercise program uh, for a person without having to be the person in the gym, right? Like here's the prescription for what I want you to do and go from there. Great. Thank you so much. Um, And the last question is, as a family practice physician, other than weight loss programs, what other protocols and health issues will I be able to incorporate into the practice? Well, I mean, it's not, um, first of all, everybody, if you're a family practice physician, you have people coming in that are exercising every day. So that literally everything you're going to learn at this weekend will apply to the next person that walks into your door to be seen as a patient. You know, it, it, because once you begin to exercise on a regular basis, there's a fine line between exercise and overtraining. And you have to understand how to recognize overtraining. You have to understand how to recognize how to correct overtraining. Um, and then in addition to that, it's, well, what's the right way for people to eat given their population? Am I dealing with somebody with chronic gut dysbiosis and food allergies? Are they an endurance athlete? What's the carbohydrate to protein ratios? that an endurance athlete should be doing, we really dig in and give you the equations, the tools, and the knowledge that allow you to get that next person walking in the door, particularly if you're in family practice, and say, okay, does this person move? If they move, 
Do they move correctly? If they don't move, I need to assess them and be able to create an exercise prescription and then also be able to prescribe a diet that technology can help deploy. I mean, there's technological tools that will help people to stay on a diet and teach them how to exercise. It's just that it all starts with you, the doctor, and taking that interest and knowing the right thing to, uh, to, to assess and, and to follow through with that patient. Andy, anything to add on the two questions? I'm, I know I jumped no, in. You, you, oh. No, no, you, you covered it well. Okay. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this webinar, um, especially Dr. Heyman and Dr. Laval. You don't want to miss out on this brand new module presented by our expert faculty August 13th through the 15th in Las Vegas at the beautiful Venetian. Um, call your education advisor today at 561-910-4960. Thank you and good night.